ICOM is software which allows the host PC to observe the real-time progress of individual network monitors and remotely control them. An ICOM-equipped LG network monitor has a variety of functions to accommodate a multi-user environment, such as monitoring, messaging, remote control, monitor and lock functions. These functions make it suitable for private or public education establishments, as well as companies, government and public offices, hospitals, call centers, and any other setting that includes a large number of users. There are a few things to check prior to initiating the install process in order to ensure smooth installation of the program. First, check to ensure all of the network monitors are properly working before beginning the installation. There are two types of tools in ICOM, Manager Tool and User Tool. These two tools can be installed in individual PCs based on the network monitor's environment and objectives. Following are three network monitor installation environments, along with information on how to create each. In the first case, where 11 network monitors are connected to one host PC and are going to use the host PC as a manager, please install both Manager Tool and User Tool onto the host PC. In the second case, where an independent PC is connected to the host PC and is used as the manager instead of the host PC, please install Manager Tool onto the independent PC and install User Tool onto the host PC. In the third case, when installing ICOM software to multiple host PCs connected to the network monitors, please install both Manager Tool and User Tool onto the host PC chosen to act as the manager and install user tool onto the rest of the host PCs. Let's start installing ICOM. Insert the CD in the host PC and click the Manager Tool installation program. When the Install Shield wizard appears, install the program according to the instructions given. A reminder, a router can be used when installing in a place with only a few IP addresses. There might be differences depending on the router, so set the virtual IP range within the IP range that is supported by the router. Important tip! If the system is closed and lacks web access, virtual IP can be set through a router. This concludes the installation of ICOM Manager tool. Let's start the ICOM User Tool installation. In order to install the User Tool, click the program on the CD. When the Install Shield Wizard appears, follow the directions to complete the installation. Only when both the Manager Tool and User Tool are installed in the same host PC will the following notification message appear. For an optimal demonstration environment, the ICOM Manager Monitor's resolution and User Network Monitor's resolution must be identical. Now the ICOM program is ready to use. Double-click the Manager Tool icon on the desktop to start the program. The screen is roughly divided into four sections, Toolbar, Tab List, Thumbnails, and Connected Users Information Display Area. It is convenient to manage multiple users with ICOM's monitoring function, since it allows the manager to check the user's PCs in real time or at preset time intervals. The teacher looks over the thumbnail section to check if all the students have opened up the class materials and then proceeds with the lesson. The teacher checks if the students are ready by viewing their displays through the user PC monitoring function. The remote control function of ICOM is very useful in multilateral communication since it gives the manager remote control of a user's PC. One student is noticeably falling behind the others. Using user PC control, the teacher instructs the student by remotely controlling his or her PC. Hmm, one student is not following the class. The teacher is using the remote command function to remotely relaunch the appropriate program on the student monitor. 
It seems like the class is taking a quiz. The teacher checks the time and uses the user monitor lock function to lock the user's monitors as the quiz time is up to make sure no other students can use their PC. ICOM's demonstration function allows the manager to display his or her screen to all the users or to display a certain user's screen to the group. The teacher has found new material to show the students. This would be a good time for the teacher to utilize the demonstration function. The teacher displays the material to the entire class. To display a student's presentation to the entire class, the teacher sends the presenter's material onto the other student's monitors. Some of the many other functions include Messenger, Snapshot, and User PC Backup. Now we have finished looking over the major functions of ICOM. Please refer to the User's Guide for more details. Now, all of the software has been installed. If there are any additional problems in specific areas, please consult the tech support team and they will be glad to help. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.